Now the medal count is up to 46 for Team GB as teenager Sky Brown won bronze in the park skateboarding final, a feat that was made even more impressive as it came little more than a week after she dislocated her shoulder. We can join our reporter, Garrett Hughes, now. She keeps on giving because she's done it again. Sky Brown. What Sky doesn't probably remember is three years ago in Tokyo, it was this cameraman and me talking to you when you won your bronze, but we knew you wouldn't remember us. Uh, but in terms of what you did yesterday, I know you've been asked this question a thousand times already, but what does it actually mean for you on the journey you've been? You know, it's been an insane journey. Um, lots of ups and downs, but, you know, I think, you know, everything made me stronger and got me here. And, yeah, I think it ended well, this journey, but excited for the next one as well. In terms of the, the final itself, can you, you, you listen, you're up against two, two other great greats out there as well. The whole, well, the whole final was good. How do you think it went from your performance? Definitely with some of my injuries, couldn't go as hard as I wanted to and bring out the tricks I wanted to bring out. But um, I pushed through. It was, some, it was a really fun time watching the girls push and all of us push together was really cool. I mean, the final was really exciting. And yeah, I'm really stoked I got to be on the podium with these you know, amazing athletes. Right, I'm glad you mentioned injuries because I wanted to talk to you about that. How debilitating is the shoulder? Debilitating. De uh, bad. How bad was <laughs> it in stopping you to be able to do what you wanted to do? Um, I just had to play a little safe, you know. I didn't want to make it worse. I'm going to go get surgery after this. But, mm. yeah, it was just, it was right, I dislocated it right before and then in the prelims, fell on it again. So I just had to play a little safe. What people don't realise is that injury, it, it reoccurs and it really, really, it hurts, doesn't it, as well? How, yeah. Um, I did it snowboarding years ago and three or four times kept on popping out. So I, I feel your pain, yeah, but not, not quite to the level you do. No. Um, what, what, were you, what were you able not to What were you not able to do because of all the strapping you had? I just had a, f like a few tricks. Um, some bangers that I was working on just for Paris and yeah it was it was just I could fall really badly on those tricks yeah. so I just couldn't do them. Right overall though your achievement you were the youngest team DB medalist in Tokyo you've gone and followed this up again are you kind of aware of maybe a legacy I know you're only 16 but the legacy you're doing for the sport and for team GB here. Well thank you um yeah, I mean, that was the goal. My goal was to inspire and push the boundaries for... Just push the boundaries yeah. and close that gender gap was definitely one of the biggest ones. But, yeah, I mean, I think it's so... I'm just... Yeah, sorry. Else. It's all right. I know because you're quite tired. I know that. In terms of where you want to go now from here, you staying with the sport, LA 2028? What's the plans? LA? Other than get some sleep. <laughs> Yeah, I'm guessing I'm sleep, but no. Um, LA 2028, I want to be a double Olympian. I got one spot away this year for surfing. Um, yeah, it was first alternate, but that didn't happen this year, but I'm definitely looking at LA for that. Um, for skating too again, so double Olympian, two gold medals, hopefully for Team GB. Wow, we've got that. We've got that. That's a great little line you've given us there. So you're definitely going to go surfing again yes. and definitely go skating again. <laughs> Have you any idea how long you could maybe be one of the dominant figures in your sport? Because you're only 16, you got two Olympic medals. Have you thought how long you could go on for? Um, I reckon I can go on forever. I mean, I believe that age doesn't matter. Um, well, Andy McDonald says that, doesn't yeah, he? Yeah. I, he's a very good example. 51, you know, Olympian doing the craziest tricks. And also, you know, in, our, in, our, in the women's division, there's 11-year-old. Um, Lily Bat, I mean, it really shows that age doesn't matter, and yeah, just got to believe in yourself. Sky, thank you ever so much for talking to thank us. You. Um, what, what you don't realise with the athletes do this, they competed yesterday, they're obviously on a massive high. I don't think you've had any sleep, and you probably want to see your family, but thank you so much for joining us on Sky Sports thank News this you. morning. Really appreciate that. Sky Brown, let, come on, let's have a look at this medal. Congratulations, Sky, well done. Thank